Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Captain Creativity. I am your host, David Merrill. And today I normally want to, uh, would be doing an unboxing of something really cool like a 3D printer or a robot or some kind of new STEM product or curriculum. But unfortunately, due to some horrible news that we just got, I have to make this video instead. And that's because Stratus has decided to sue Bamboo Labs. And its implications, uh, if they win this case, will have rippling effect in the entire 3D and makerspace community. So basically, let's break it down. Um, Stratasys, for those of you who do not know, is a big commercial company, uh, that a commercial 3D printing company who's made acquisitions uh, in the consumer space. They've acquired MakerBot and they've merged with Ultimaker and they do have uh, consumer-based products uh, as well. Uh, they are actually known to have really good 3D printers in the commercial space, and I heard people love their Ultimakers too. And then you have Bamboo Labs, who came in and revolutionized the industry by providing people with cost-effective, low bar of entry, 3D printers with amazing quality, and you can get them for just hundreds of dollars. And they basically forced a lot of other companies in the industry to follow suit and to start making also affordable, high-speed, high-quality printers that are now using technologies that were typically reserved for the commercial industry, and now we get to have access to them. But that looks like it's all about to change. Because if this lawsuit, if Bamboo Labs loses this lawsuit, or gets forced into basically getting acquired or um, paying fines or dues or whatever, it, it, it could have major, major, major implications and it could set a precedent that could ripple through other companies as well. And the first thing about this is that we should talk about what are they suing them on? And one of that is, uh, there's about like 10 patents I think that they're suing them on, maybe a, maybe a few more, but I wanna pick out like two of them just to give you the insanity of what they're actually attacking them uh, on. And one of them is, believe it or not, the heating bed, the, the, the bed being heated and the material on the bed being heated to keep the plastic um, and to adhere to the bed. This is on every single printer. I don't know anybody who doesn't have this right now. So them losing this means everyone is going to be in big trouble. Creality, Anycubic, Chidi, Prusa, everybody. And the other one is the Purge Tower. And this has been very popular with AMS Solutions or Ace Pro or uh, basically multicolor filament solutions uh, that are out there. They create a prime tower, purge tower, where they prepare the next layer by purging some filament. And they're saying that that is proprietary as well. So we're, why is everybody upset about this? And why is everyone angry about this? Well, it turns out that many of these technologies, many of these features had already existed years before Stratasys patented them and they were in the RepRap community as pri and they're considered to be prior art. Prior art in intellectual property is when an invention or technology has already been shared with the community and is already known to people, and in that case, it cannot be something that someone can patent. And, in, and unfortunately, it seems that either knowledge, knowingly or unknowingly, Stratasys has taken these open source technologies, put a patent on them, and then now going after other companies saying, you've infringed on my technology. Now, what could this mean for Bamboo Labs? Well, it can mean that they go bankrupt. Uh, they end up paying higher fees for licensing, which could drive up the cost of printers back to $2,000, $3,000. They can go ahead and um, acquire them and then wipe out their product line and then basically sell you know, the Ultimakers and you're forced to get their version of the printer, which costs considerably a lot more. I think that most people are really upset about this in the makerspace is because there's clear evidence here that there is a lot of patents that do not 
or should not belong to them. And I think that that really pisses a lot of people off because you look at a company like Prusa who's decided not to patent their technology and make it available to the, uh, to the community and give it, and, and companies take that technology and yes, sometimes they go ahead and they commercialize it. But, you know, and, and yes, Bamboo Labs is not perfect in any way and yes, they've come out under a lot of scrutiny by not providing open source solutions or products that they may have taken from an open source solution and then not disclose that open source technology. But understand this is less, this is not about Bamboo Labs. It's about the entire 3D printing space because what happens to them is going to happen to other 3D printers. And, that, and if you think that it's only gonna be Bamboo Labs, they will come after everybody if they win this case. So there are a lot of real concerns here. So whether or not you love Bamboo Labs or you don't, it's not just about them. With that being said, where do we go from here? First and foremost, you know, it's up to you to decide at the end of the day what to buy and what not to buy. And I really do believe that what Stratasys is doing here is going to blow up in their face. I think that people are going to actually turn against them and boycott their product. I don't think anyone's going to say, yay, Sue Bamboo Labs. I really think that people are going to be really freaked out, that they're not going to be able to acquire and purchase cost-effective printers and give those printers to, to schools and to others who can only afford a few hundred dollars. I think that they are going to end up with a lot of people boycotting Ultimaker or MakerBot types of products. I don't think it will affect them so much in the commercial printing space, but if this is their way to court Bamboo Labs for acquisition, I don't think this is the way to go about doing it. And that is something that some people are saying, is saying, hey, Maybe this is like a kid pulling a girl's hair on the playground because he likes her. Companies do this sometimes and they sue him and then they acquire them. Well, first of all, number one, don't teach your kids to ever do that. If you like a girl, that's not the way to do it. And I would say the same with companies. This is not, you know, it's like Darth Vader. He, he, he goes ahead and he's trying to convince Luke Skywalker to join the dark side. And he does this by basically cutting off his hand? <laughs> Why would you do that? You literally just cut off his hand and then you say, join me. Join me and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. We'll rule together. I'll never join you. <laughs> the similarities uh, between the Empire and the Rebel Alliance, I feel the parallels between these two in this lawsuit. And I think that at the end of the day, Stratasys has really painted themselves as the villains here, or at least that's the way they're coming out already as, because there, there are people who genuinely contribute dozens and dozens of hours, hundreds of hours, of their lives to contribute to the open source community, to the RepRap community, and they're pissed that they would go ahead and take those technologies, patent them, and then go and try to eradicate the competition who simply has done nothing more than put printers into the hands of common, everyday Joe Schmoes who do not want to spend thousands of dollars on a printer. And at the end of the day, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt kids, and it's going to hurt schools, and it's going to hurt an entire community of enthusiasts who want to stay in this space because the reality is prior to the revolution of Bamboo Labs printers and their emergence of these core XY designs, and I'm not, again, saying that they invented Core XY designs, but they brought a lot of these commercial technologies and put them at a low cost uh, price, and it came out with excellent quality and a very easy to learn software and learning curve. And basically, you can't take that away from them. And there are many companies who followed suit, and now all of that is at risk with this case. Now, to make matters worse, it seems that there's a lot of murmurs out there that the case is gonna take place in Texas, number one. Number two, 
it sounds like the judge who's presiding over this case apparently does not really either believe or doesn't tend to lean towards the case and argument of prior art. And prior art basically can nullify someone's patent if the technology and invention, as I mentioned, is already out there in the community and it was already published to the community, which there's evidence of such. So if the judge ignores this, this is a major, major issue and it's gonna be a real problem. And then there's the political atmosphere that we have to contend with because unfortunately right now, that the United States and China, when it comes to trade, don't see eye to eye. So will federal judge or a state judge, I can't remember if this is on the state or the federal level, but will they go ahead and land on the side of a Chinese company? Well, they're supposed to be impartial to this, but politics do find their way into law. And unfortunately, and we all know this, will this end up with really negative results? And in the, at the end of the day, if they lose, like I said, this will have a horrible cascading effect that will go throughout the entire industry. And people like Creality and Anycubic and Chidi and Prusa and all those companies could theoretically meet the same fate. I will personally tell you that I'm an actually very annoyed at Stratasys and I do not want Bamboo Labs to have to be brought into court for these features. I've seen already enough evidence of these other patents that were dated prior to Stratasys making the patent claim. And if I could already find several there, who knows how many more already exist and I'm sure others will make a better breakdown than I will. But I think it's important to know that if you do support Stratasys in any way or form or have a relationship with them, you certainly have the power to put pressure on them. And you can do that in a multitude of different ways. You could go to social media. You can go ahead and sell their stock if you're not interested in holding their stock anymore. And at the end of the day, I think they're really just going to damage their own reputation. And I think that they're going after a pretty beloved product. And when you go after a beloved product, you're gonna have a lot of people who are gonna turn against you. At the end of the day, I really wanted to bring this to your attention to be aware, and maybe it's now time to start stocking up on these printers, because the reality is if you're a school and you're in the market now for 3D printers, you better start making your decision fast because I really don't know what's gonna happen in the months to come. If anything, now is the time to go out and get yourself a 3D printer because it seems like lawsuits are coming down the pipeline for everybody. Anyway, that's the show. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it turned into more of a rant than anything else, but I am very passionate about STEM education or STEAM education. And I really don't like it when lawsuits get in the way of that and stifle innovation, which this lawsuit absolutely will if Stratasys wins. Um, so with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned as we continue to unbox more technologies and I'll be sure to do that while I could still buy them. <laughs> anyway, Thanks for watching.